Learning more about the human mind has researchers unlocking some real mysteries by taking a closer look at the brains of birds. All of this is happening right now at UT Southwestern. Gilma Avalos has more. A diligent father, Zebra Finch, orders his son to attention. Chasing him around, pecking at his beak. This is important. His future depends on this lesson. Females judge them on uh, how well they do it. Their songs, music to neuroscientist Todd Roberts' ears. He's looking at the striking similarities between the way these baby birds learn their mating calls and the way human babies learn their first words. <laughs> Imitation. Balloon. Balloon. This type of learning is exceptionally rare. Humans are the only primate that learn their vocalizations in this manner. These bird brains provide a mirror for the human brain, a look at how we develop language or don't. This type of learning using speech and language fluently is disruptive in autism. Right now, speech therapy is the most effective way to help children on the autism spectrum improve their communication skills. Stripes or polka dots? Polka dots. Twin siblings Kylie and Caden were diagnosed at age two. Speech therapy has helped them open up. A whale. A whale. Still, mom says around strangers, there's so much lost in translation. People turning around watching, thinking your kid's throwing a tantrum when they're not. It's why this research is so crucial. Using new technology, Dr. Roberts is monitoring brain activity with light. So what you could see is that different neurons are lighting up. Working to map out exactly what goes wrong in the brain when a baby bird isn't able to duplicate his father's song and find ways to fix it. What we'd want to do is be able to dissect the different time points during this period early in life where interventions might be the most effective. Hello. Hi. Neurologists like Dr. Shaila Jagola are hopeful the research could really lead to future treatments, maladies that matter far beyond the nest. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News.